Hey there, record collectors. I'd like to share with you something today by creepy John Thomas. Uh, John Thomas, not to be confused with the guitar player from the George Hatcher band, Budgie. Different guy altogether. This John Thomas was born in Australia. He came to the UK in the mid to late 60s, uh, pursuing a solo career. He's a blues guitar player, vocalist, uh, rather gruff vocal styling. Um, this is his first LP just self-titled Creepy John Thomas. This is a British pressing. As you can see, the sleeve is just like paper. Um, it's very, very thin. Um, RCA, let's see if we can see the label here. RCA Victor. Um, as far as credits go, there's some interesting names here. Um, those of you familiar with Trout Rock of the 70s, you'll see Conrad Plank, AKA Connie Plank. Uh, his name was synonymous with many Kraut rock bands, everybody from Kraftwerk, Guru Guru, um, Early Scorpions, that kind of thing. Many, many other bands as well. Um, he also, it looks like he played bongos here too, interesting. Okay, so who else do we have? We got Andy Shotgun Marks, Andy Marks. Now, Andy has kind of an interesting history after this. He went on to play with... Um, the band Tanned Leather. Now they weren't really Kraut Rock. They were kind of a rural country blues folky kind of German band. Very American sounding. Um, much like the German band Wyoming uh, from the early 70s. So those of you familiar with that band that recorded on Bellafon. Um, Andy Marks also did some work with uh, ex Dual 2 members. There was a, a short-lived band called Utopia. Uh, Olaf Kubler's band. And I believe Andy Marks can be found playing guitar on that as well as Udo Lindenberg's uh, self-titled debut LP. He played with them as with him as well. Um, trying to think what else Andy may have done. I know that he sessioned a lot through the 70s. Um, he also played with the Kraut Rock band Cherubin. Um, not much else comes to mind. Helmut Pohl. Now, that name, he did a lot of session work in the 70s, but he's best known, I suppose, amongst Kraut Rock fans for playing in the band Gamora, the Kraut Rock band Gamora. Uh, we also see Paul Rogers' name here. Paul, of course, the vocalist from Free Bad Company. Free and Bad Company vocalist. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the opening cut on side one titled Gut Runs Great Stone. Um, and John Thomas, by the way, later, later on, before I forget here, I'm kind of just doing this unrehearsed, trying to rack my brain as I'm speaking here. I know that I have a couple of Edgar Broughton band LPs with his name on there. So shortly after his solo career, which was rather short-lived, after this 1969 LP, he did release one more titled Brother Batbone, which I also own, which was, which was released in 1970. He eventually teamed up with the Broughton brothers, and he can be found on the Bandages album, and I'm not sure what the other album would be without digging them out. Uh, for sure, Bandages. Um, he also went on to work with Annie Lennox and Dave Stewart, pre-Eurythmics. Uh, they were in a band called Tourists. Now, the Tourists' debut LP was recorded in Cologne, Germany by Conrad, Connie Plank. And I'm pretty sure John did some session work on that LP or a couple of singles around that time. He was also crediting himself as Johnny Driver, I believe, so he could be credited as that or uncredited altogether. But I do recall reading years ago that he did some work with them. So on with the music, not much more can be said about this, but this is the original UK pressing on RCA. So I've got things all ready to go here and cleaned up. I'm just gonna switch hands quickly. And away we go.
Well, you know what? Let's do one more cut. I'm going to play uh, Lay It On Me, the third cut off side two. Creepy John Thomas. I've got things all queued up and ready. Just reach across here. Away we go. Let's <laughs> go. 